Developing this evening, major metro issues after a fire sparked beneath the rail car, sending smoke billowing through the Eastern Market Station. Dramatic video shows those chaotic moments at the entrance to the station. New tonight, we've learned the rail car at the center of all of this was a 7,000 series train, the same type of rail car that we've reported has been plagued with problems. We're bringing you team coverage this evening. Transportation reporter Adam Tuss has more on the technical issue that led to this fire, and he's going to give us a close to look at what exactly went wrong. But first tonight, Paul Wagner is live at the Eastern Market Station. And Paul, I know you spoke with people who were on that train. How are they doing? How did they describe this? Yeah, Leon and Sean, uh, it sounded like they were a little concerned, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, a man named Gregory Pittman uh, I talked to who was on the train. He said that he started to notice some problems around the Stadium Armory Station as they were heading towards the Potomac Avenue Station and then here to Eastern Market. He was so concerned, he pulled out his phone and he started recording, and you could see uh, some of what appears to be flames shooting up from the bottom of the train. Now, a few minutes ago, I was able to listen back to some audio from the train driver, and you can hear the driver says she heard an explosion and actually could see some sparks from coming underneath the train. So listen now to Gregory Pittman describe what he was seeing on that train earlier today. You can see the sparks, you can hear it and everything. It was like it was coming from um, under the train from the tracks. So it was like something was sparking under there and it was popping real loud. So um, that's basically how the trip was from Stadium Armory until we got to Potomac Avenue. This is video Gregory Pittman shot on his phone as they were traveling from Stadium Armory to Eastern Market. That's where Pittman says he pulled an emergency handle on the train and the doors open inside the Eastern Market station. He says the smoke was quite heavy as he got out of the car and made his way outside. D.C. Fire and EMS says nine people were treated for smoke inhalation and one person was transported. After power was shut down on the third rail, firefighters were able to identify a piece of the train that appeared to have caused the sparks or arcing and were able to cool it down. Metro says it was a part of the train that had apparently come loose on one of the 7,000 series cars. So there's a cable holds the assembly, which holds the shoe, which comes in contact with the third rail. So it's essentially a box <laughs> that's holding the collector shoe in order to collect the power. And something came loose from that, you think? It appears that the box did come loose, and at that point it's hanging by a cable uh, and being drug, and at that point, you know, it's coming into contact with the third rail and causing some of the arcing that we've seen in the video. For a period of time, this whole area was shut down. Pennsylvania Avenue was closed, and they closed a number of stations along the Blue, Orange, and Silver Line here. But we understand now that it's single tracking through these stations, and those stations have been reopened. That's the latest here from Eastern Market. Leon and Sean, back into you. All right, Paul, thank you. All right, let's continue our team coverage now with transportation reporter Adam Tuss, who has more on what led to this fire. Adam, we heard the word shoe. Um, can you describe the shoe that Metro said came loose? Yes, yeah, Sean, underneath every Metro train, not just the 7,000 series trains, there's what's known as a collector shoe. It makes contact with the third rail and then draws power from the third rail. 750 volts. It is nothing to be messed around with. So you can imagine if that collector shoe was loose and was bouncing along as it was going around the third rail and you saw those pops that were happening, that's what caused all that sparking. That's what caused all that smoke. And there are collector shoes up and down the train. So the fact that one of these was hanging on by a cable and then basically being drugged down, you can imagine the release of energy that was happening. As a matter of fact, take a listen to this audio that we've obtained of the station manager here at Eastern Market as she saw what was going on. Metro, this station is at Eastern Market. Station manager, Eastern Market. Tell the, the fire department has come down the steps. There's so much smoke in the station, I can't tell if all the customers are out. It's just too much smoke, sister. I can't stay in the station. 
And you can hear that panic in her voice. You can see the smoke that was coming into the station there. So obviously, uh, very concerning moments. And you know, you don't have to think back that long ago to the L'Enfant Plaza incident that that smoke incident that actually killed a passenger on Metro a couple of years ago. So scary moments for everybody that was on the train today, guys. Yeah, that L'Enfant Plaza incident was the first thing that came to mind. You can understand why that station manager would be so concerned. Indeed. Thanks for breaking that down for us, Adam. Now, but tell us about that, that, that piece of equipment, uh, the shoe. Is it something and the problem with it, that's, is it something that's unique to the 7000 series rail cars or is this just another one of those unfortunate coincidences with these cars? Yeah, so this really, the 7000 series rail cars, why they've gotten so much attention recently is really because of the wheels and the way that the wheels were pressed on the trains and then they were actually spreading out. Metro is now taking steps to fix that. The collector shoe really doesn't have anything to do with the wheels. So the 7000 series here kind of getting caught mm -hmm. in the middle of all this again. But nevertheless, you wonder why that collector shoe was loose. Was there a bolt that was missed? Did someone not tighten it? Did it hit something on the rails? All of that is a bit concerning and they're going to have to to figure that part out, guys. Adam, Adam, we know in the midst of all this, uh, Metro is negotiating with the leaders of D.C., Maryland, and Virginia to address that massive budget shortfall yeah. they're facing. What's the latest there, and will safety concerns like this play into any of those talks? Yeah, well, Sean, this certainly doesn't help, right? The Metro general manager is basically going all around the region telling everyone they need to give more money if they want to fix a massive budget gap. And for the most part, the region has agreed to do that, to give over some money. But when you go and you see safety incidents like this, now they, Metro has been pretty good lately. Let's all give them a little bit of credit. But when you see safety incidents like this, it's hard to go and say, yeah, let's hand over some money if we're going to make sure that the system is as safe as it needs to be. So uh, General Manager Randy Clark just yesterday, as a matter of fact, made the comment that he thinks Metro is the safest, most reliable transit system in the U.S. right now. But then something like this happens. Sometimes with Metro guys, it's two steps forward, one step back. Uh, but he's going to have to continue to try to plug that budget gap that he has for this fiscal year. Indeed he does. Mm -hmm. All right. Adam Tusk with the latest for us. Adam, thank you. Thanks, Adam.